some more problems on Euler's theorem. Verify Euler's theorem for the function u is equal to x raised to half plus y raised to half into x raised to n plus y raised to n. So u is this function. And then uh, this function is a homogeneous function of degree 1 half plus n. So if there is multiplication, then addition of the uh, degrees. That is degree of this function is half and degree of this function is n. And so degree of this total whole function is what? One half plus n. So why this is? Because if you take u as this function, then u of tx t1. If you replace x by tx and y by ty, then we have this. And take this t raised to half as a common factor and t raised to n from these two. So we have t raised to half into t raised to n is x raised to half plus y raised to half plus x raised to n plus y raised to n. And that is t raised to one half plus n or n plus one half. And this is u of x, y. The remaining factor is u of x, y. This function is u of x, y. So u of t, x, t, y is t raised to n plus 1 by 2 u, x, y. And therefore, this u is a homogeneous function of degree n plus 1 half. So if there is division, then uh, subtract the degrees. And if there is multiplication, then uh, there is addition of the degrees. Like uh, 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 logarithmic function, that is log a into b is log a plus log b. And log a by b is log a minus log b, like that. So the degree of the homogeneous function is n plus 1 half. And therefore, by Euler's theorem, we have x w by dy x plus y w by dy y is equal to n u. Uh, in uh, u is the notation for function n. And n means the degree of the function is n plus half u. Okay. So uh, this is by using Euler's theorem. Here is the question is verify Euler's theorem. So this is the uh, by using Euler's theorem. Now, we find the actual the uh, value of x w by dy x plus y w by dy. That is, differentiate this u with respect to x and y and then take addition. So, uh, w by dy x is what? The derivative of this function is u into v rule. That is, first that uh, x raised to n plus y raised to n. That is, uh, this function as it is, the derivative of this function is what? 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1. That is, x raised to 1 half minus 1 is x raised to minus half and then that y, y raised to half derivative is zero with respect to x. So we have this plus uh, this quantity as it is u derivative of this quantity is what n x raised to n minus one. Okay, n x raised to n minus one. Here is okay. So multiply by x we have this function x raised to minus half and x raised to one is x raised to minus half plus one that is x raised to half. And here is x raised to n minus 1 into x raised to 1 is x raised to n minus 1 plus 1 that is x raised to n. And similarly, dy u by dy x is this. And the multiplying by y, we have this. Okay. And then adding 2 and 3, we have the addition of uh, RH LHS as x dy u by dy x plus y dy u by dy power. And then take 1 half as common, x raised to n plus y raised to h common. We have x raised to half plus y raised to half in bracket. Here is uh, take x raised to half plus y raised to half as a common, n as common. We have in bracket x raised to n plus y raised to n. Take n as a common. So we have then uh, out of these two, uh, take x raised to half plus y raised to half and x raised to n plus y raised to n as a common factor. So we have one and at, at this place we have n, eight at this place we have half, half plus n or n plus half. And that is this function is is u. This is u. Okay. X raised to half plus y raised to half x raised to n plus y raised to n is u. And therefore we have the same answer by using simplified method. That is uh, by using uh, Euler's theorem this is the answer and by using actual calculation we have this answer. That is both from 1 and 4 we say that Euler's theorem is verified. So u is this function and then uh, find the value of this. So first, this is the homogeneous function of degree 0. Why? Because if you denote this is u, u, x, y as a function of this and then substitute x and y as t, x, t, y. So what do we have? We have the same function t raised to 0. That is t raised to 0. Actually 1 into the same function u, x, y. u, t, x, t, y is t raised to 0 u, x, y. This is u, x, y. And therefore u is the homogeneous function of degree n. 
uh, degree zero and therefore by Euler theorem x w by dx plus y w by dx is equal to n u n is e zero zero into u is zero so we have the answer zero so this is uh, the next problem u is tan inverse x cube plus y cube divided by x minus one then find or show that this so u is this so shift this tan inverse to lhs we have tan u is equal to this and this is the homogeneous function of degree two the degree of numerator is three degree of denominator is one so three minus one three minus one is uh, two so its degree is two and therefore by euler theorem x daba daba x of this tan u either denote this tan u by z as uh, in the previous lecture we observed that this denote by tan u as z and then x daba z by daba x plus y daba z by daba y is equal to n z that is 2 z then substitute z as tan u or directly and then x daba daba x of tan u is x square u daba u by daba x y daba daba y of x square u tan u there to daba u by daba y daba u by daba y because this tan u is the homogeneous uh, is the uh, is the function of uh, u so by you change to into w by w two tan u then divided by six square u we have this answer that is two sin u cos u that is sin two u already this problem is covered in the next uh, say, previous lecture u is log of this so then log shift this log to lhs then it's it is e rest to u if you shift shift the log then it is its uh, inverse is uh, exponential function e rest to u or uh, anti log of u e rest to u x rest to 4 by uh, plus y rest to 4 by x plus y and this is obviously degree 3 degree of numerator is 4 degree of denominator is 1 3 minus uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 and then uh, denote this function by u either z or directly we say x dava dava x of e rest to u because e rest to u is the homogeneous function of degree 3 y dava dava y of e rest to u is equal to 3 e rest to u and then uh, e rest to u derivative of e rest to u is e rest to u into w by dx with respect to x and with respect to y derivative of e rest to u is what e rest to u w by dw y is equal to 3 e rest to u and then dividing by e rest to u we have this answer okay that is 3 u is sine inverse x plus y divided by root x plus root y then show that this okay so switch so sine inverse to lhs we have sine u and this is the homogeneous function of degree 1 minus 1 half that is 1 half then by chain uh, by Euler's theorem we have x dabba dabba x of sine u plus y dabba 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 sine u denote this sine u or this function by z then x dabba z by dabba x plus y dabba z by dabba y is equal to n z n is half that is degree z is sine u substitute sine u and then derivative of sine u with respect to is cos u into dabba u by dabba y sine u, u with respect to y is cos u dabba u by dabba y one half sine u dividing by sine u we have the first equation then differentiate this equation with respect to x and y and multiplying by x and y that are the equation number three and uh, two and three adding two and three we get the answer already this problem is solved in the previous lecture uh, what is the uh, derivative of this function uh, this lhs is x w by dava w square u by dava x square plus uh, w by dava x into one u into v rule and y is constant w by dava x derivative is w square u by dava x dava y one half tan u derivative is x square u into w by dava x because derivative is with respect to x then uh, shift this w by dx to rhs take common this is uh, factor as a w by dx as a common factor and then multiply by x we have this okay similarly the differentiation with respect to uh, y x is constant w square u by dx y dx x then u into v rule y dx square u by dx y square into plus uh, w by dx y derivative of y is what one half Sex square u tan u derivative is one half sex square u dava u by dava y and then multiply uh, shift this quantity and take the dava u by dava y as common and then multiply by y we have this then adding two and three then lhs is what x square dava square u by dava x square then x into y dava u by dava square u by dava x dava y this factor and this factor becomes two times because dava square u by dava x dava y and dava square u by dava y dava x both are same plus y square dava square u by dava y square one half x square u minus one as a common factor we have x dava u by dava x plus y dava u by dava y and its value from equation number one is what one half tan u and then uh, one by x square u means one by cos square u that they take as two cos square u as a common as a lcm two cos square u minus one sine u by cos u 
and then we have four two into two four cos cube u and two cos square u minus one into two cos square u minus one is a uh, cos two u into sine two u. Uh, two two cos square u minus one is minus two cos u because cos theta is one minus two cos square theta. So two cos square theta minus one is minus two cos minus uh, cos two theta minus uh, cos two u sine. We have this answer. Okay, that is what I have to prove. So next example, x z is this x uh, f of x y y plus g y y x. Then show that this. So this is the homogeneous function. This part, this part is the homogeneous function of degree one, and this is homogeneous function of degree zero. So z is u. This is u, and this is v. Then u is homogeneous function of degree one, and v is the homogeneous function of degree zero. So u is the homogeneous function of degree one. We have x w by w square u by w x square plus two x y w square u by w x w y plus y square w square u by w square by corollary of the Euler theorem. N n minus one into u, but n is one. Therefore one one minus zero one is zero. So we have zero answer. And v is homogeneous function of degree zero. Therefore we have answer n n minus one n is zero. So we have answer zero. And therefore X square dy square u by dy square u plus v, 2 xy adding 1 and 2. We have this 2 xy dy square u by dy xy dy u plus v and then u plus v at this place is equal to is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0. So the answer of this is 0. Uh, that uh, u plus v that is z. We have the answer 0. This is equal to 0 as u plus y is 0. So these are some uh, uh, exercises. Problems solve all these exercises. Answers are also given. That is the we have to prove the uh, step forward example. Show that or prove the. You these are the problems related to Euler's theorem. Solve all these problems.